which is called a contour thread lift. It's a, a brand new procedure which has come from the US, that's where it was uh, originated. And the man uh, who's doing it here is uh, a surgeon who's called Mukesh Lalu, and uh, he is going to show us exactly what's involved here. Hi. You're very welcome uh, to The Late Late Show. Now, you. you've already done a little bit of work this afternoon, but before we have a look at Valerie, thank Absolutely. you, Valerie, for agreeing to uh, participate in this, we're going to have a look at Valerie this afternoon before anything at all uh, was done. So let's have a look at this. Now, this is uh, the beginning of the procedure. Explain what exactly is going on here. Okay, well... W w what do you actually do? What I do, Pat, is I make a small incision, um, either in the temporal tuft, just at the hairline here, or behind the hair at the back. Um, I pass a needle under local anaesthetic, so there's no general anaesthetic involved with this. It's an office procedure, so it can be done in the surgery. Um, pass the needle through, comes out the other side um, of the face. Um, with that, the threads come too, and um, I snip the needle off and pull the thread. Right. Let's have a look at this afternoon when you actually put the needles through uh, Valerie's face. Okay. Now the needle goes through and then the the, the filament is pulled through afterwards, is that Absolutely. Right? So the needle's pushed through, comes out the other side. It, it looks painful. It's not painful at all. Valerie, um, did you have any pain? No, just a wee bit of pressure, but no pain. No pain. Now, we can see the filament being pulled out. How yes. many filaments do you need for a, a full facelift? For a full face part, typically about eight. Eight will do. Eight, four four on each, on each side. side. Approximately. We'll do yes. it. Now, the idea is then that you, you pull these filaments through. What happens then? Well, once we've done it, <coughs> excuse me, once we've pulled the filaments through, I will then go about the process of contouring the face. And I will ask the patient how high they would like to go. So in Valerie's case, um, we lifted the right side of her brow um, approximately a centimetre, um, pulled her jowls back to give her a nice tight chin line. And she was happy with that. We could go further, but um, we didn't. So, so looking at, at, at Valerie's face now, you have removed the threads, the filaments, uh -huh. from one side, if we That's can have a, 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 a look at, straight on the face, right? And you can see the other filaments are still in place. Yes, yes. There is a little bit of a lift from this side, but basically this side has been lifted up, and this brow here is lower than the brow on the right. So when I contour the threads for you, you'll see that the, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, filaments will pull the, the skin back okay, into Do you want place. to do the procedure now? Sure, yeah. yeah. And if you could be so kind. How long does this take, by the way? Just um, a It takes of me to do this procedure um, probably for a full face an hour to an hour and a half um, in total. Um, this is a relatively new procedure, as you've, you've, you've mentioned. It's been in the States for a few years, and um, in Ireland we're sort of catching on to it now. Um, I, myself, specialize in non-surgical non or cosmetic medical treatments. So you're pulling so these threads now, now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the threads, and you'll see that the thread will come out a little bit further, and if I let go of it at this stage, you, if you let go there, Alan, you'll see that Valerie's brow is really quite raised up on that side. Right, because each thread has little bumps along it, it and as a, you pull them out, they can't go back in. Absolutely. Each, cog, each, each thread has um, a few hundred little cogs on it, and each cog grasps, grasps the skin and holds it in place. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to contour this one back a little bit further. Um, Valerie and I have decided already how much of a lift she wants. So I'm just going to, that's lifted up now, and I'm going to just put it into position. And there, nice and even. And you can see the lift is there. We pull the thread and snip. There's a little bit of blood involved, not much. How Tiny much blood bit. would there be from the, the needle going in and all of that? In About total? an egg cup full in total. Um, you know, that's, that's about it. No, no, if you just put that there on for a second. Yeah. Um, no worse than um, 
if you were having a small minor surgery to have a now procedure you've got two done. more. So okay. we've just got these ones. Now you can see that's a pretty instant pull on the face. That just lifts the jaw right back. Um, and so in my practice, I would normally um, treat, do an awful lot of other cosmetic procedures, a lot of Botox, a lot of fillers. And as Maura was saying, it's an ever-growing industry. It's an evolution of society, really. Um, and there are people who have it done for various reasons. Um, aesthetic, and then there are other people who have other treatments because they've had, say, cancer in their life and they want to have their face filled out. Or um, small things like, to you and I, such as acne, which can destroy somebody else's life, but um, okay. can be treated. And that's it. And You've this got is, two more. And we've just got two on the neck. This, is, this was um, Valerie's main concern, was her neck. So, um, it's got a bit of a thread there. So, this basically will keep Valerie going for the next three, between three and five years. Um, that's fine. And can you do it again that. then? Uh, absolutely, uh, you can. I'm not, I'm not touching um, any of the muscles underneath or any, I'm going, not going near any of the nerves or hopefully none of the big blood vessels. And um, one... What do you mean uh, hopefully? <laughs> <laughs> well, this should be done by somebody who's uh, trained in, in, you know, in the procedure, obviously, Pat. Um, because it's done by a surgeon, this is... Absolutely, yeah. Um, but it's, it's a, you know, it, as, as far as surgery goes, that's fine now. It's a straightforward enough procedure. Um, and so there we have the face contour now. And that's now, there is a little bruising. How long will it take for that bruising to go? About a week. No, no worse than if Valerie bumped her head. All right. Now, Valerie, have a look at yourself there in that camera. <laughs> go on, have a look. Now, if you can try and overlook the slight bruising that you've got yeah. and some of the blood, what do you think? Oh, I'm delighted, but I just feel like Mike Tyson at the moment, but it'll be all right. <laughs> Yeah, and, and why did you want to do this? Um, I suppose we're all, you look in the mirror, you think you're young to you look in the mirror and everything's sort of going south, you know, so you feel like you want to... So you feel like you want to give yourself a little lift, cheering yeah, up? Yeah. A lift in every yeah. sense but of... But I didn't want to look world. like Joan Rivers or anything like that, you know. All right, okay. Well, Valerie, thank you. And uh, Mukesh, Lalu, thank you very you're much. You're welcome, you're welcome. It's, uh, the clinic is called uh, Cosmetics, isn't that That's right? correct, Cosmetics, yeah. all right. Cosmetics, Valerie, thank, you for, thank, thank you very much. And Valerie, particularly, thank you. Um, How much does it cost, by the way? Um, treatment started about two thousand euro. About two thousand euros. Is that a half face or a full face? Or a... You, I'll do half your face if you want. <laughs> <laughs> about two thousand for the jawline. Two thousand for, for the jawline, jawline and yeah. moving on up Mo there, depending on how much yeah. you want done. Hey,